back to my channel. It's Alex Michael May and we're doing something a little different today. I haven't done a ton of beauty content for you guys here lately and I had gotten some questions about my glowing skin and a few years ago I actually did a video about how I cover redness and melasma on my face and I thought it might be worth an update because I've really pared down my skincare routine. Um, my, I guess, yes, my skincare but also my like face routine. So I thought today I would just show you guys my simple like literal five minute everyday makeup look for when I'm filming videos and like when I'm just running around. If you want to see my date night, it's just a little bit more intense than that. Not intense, but just like a little more glam than that. But basically I keep everything so simple and natural now. I just like to have like that fresh glowing skin. Um, so if you want to see my little date night uh, let me know below. I've got a couple dates coming up so I could do a get ready with me while I do that. So just let me know if you want to see that. If you're new to my channel, I'm so glad you're here. We usually do a ton of try-ons. Um, I do some lifestyle and vlog content and working on some home projects to share as well. But I've been doing try-ons and body positive slash mid-size slash plus size, whatever you want to call it, fashion for a few years. So that's what we do mostly over here, but we are kind of veering off as I get questions about things. Um, so I might be doing a little bit more beauty content this summer, but let me know what you want to see. If you're new to my channel, I'm so glad you're here. Head over to my TikTok. I do short form content over there with fashion and lifestyle and over on my Instagram. It's a better place just to get to know each other in the DMs. I do stories with my dates and I review stuff and I get really like raw and vulnerable over there. Um, it's just also a place where I share my day to day and some more like editorial modeling photo stuff. So head over there. I'd love to see you. And if you are a returning BFF, thank you for being here. I'm so glad you guys are here and you light up my life. And I'm so grateful that to have so many virtual BFFs here. Dash is sweating. We're not off to a good start. It's kind of hot out today. Also, I'm having a really red skin moment, which I'm not mad about. I just washed my face. So I had makeup on earlier today and then I did a workout. And so I kind of sweated it off. So I came home and I just washed my face. I've been keeping my skincare really, really simple, but I thought that I would redo my makeup um, because I'm gonna film another video and I'm gonna run some errands and um, do some stuff tonight So I'm just gonna get ready and I thought that I would show you guys my simple everyday summer makeup routine for covering redness And just keeping your skin that glowy dewy juicy business so first of all, skincare. I keep my skincare really simple and natural because I have really sensitive skin. So for me, less is definitely more. I have gotten really good at always taking my makeup off before I go to bed. Um, and there will be a lot of days where I don't wear makeup, obviously, due to the pandemic. I haven't left home, so <laughs> I'm sure a lot of us are in that boat. But I used to get facials really, really regularly. So uh, for me, the biggest part about doing your makeup is making sure that like your skincare is on point. So I try to do a mask where I exfoliate um, so that the makeup lays nicely on my skin, like at least once or twice a week and then I do a moisturizing mask and then I actually dermaplane myself like literally shave my face if you know what that is um, I actually did a video on um, the derma flash like a couple years ago it's kind of funny if you want to watch it I actually just use like a little like drugstore cheap one if you want my actual like skincare or like skin prep routine comment below and let me know but I'm not gonna get into that today I'm just gonna show you how I do my everyday simple makeup um, but I am gonna include how I prep my skin because I do think that's an important part of it. So I have been trying out this Glad Skin Redness Relief Cream for the past month. So I'm actually just gonna put that on now. Um, I washed my face, my face is completely clean. And then I'm putting this on first thing. This used to be, I mean, it's still there in Europe, but it was like a cult classic, like super favorite over in Europe and it just came to the US. And there I think it's called Rosacea Cream. Here they call it Redness Relief Cream. Um, and it's hyperallergenic. It's supposed to really calm your facial redness. I've been using this for a little over, I wanna say almost a month now. And I've seen such a great improvement. I'm actually gonna link, um, I did a TikTok and an Instagram reel about my progress over the first 14 days. And honestly, I wake up in the morning with so much more even skin tone. I think the reason my skin looks so red right now is because I just messed with it because I'm flushed from working out and because I just washed my face. But um, I love, love, love this cream and I'm gonna keep using this. I use actually, I've been using all their products because they are, um, they have like micro balance and like biomes in them. So they're supposed to really help calm without any of the bad stuff that a lot of the brands use just to like, I guess, cosmetically reduce redness. This works from the inside out and it's really, really gentle and balancing on your skin. The cream is nice and thick. I'll show you the texture. My battery died. My battery always likes to die right when I'm in the middle of something important. 
whatevs. So, um, yeah, it's a thick cream, as you can see, but it really absorbs quickly and it doesn't feel heavy on the skin, which especially for me for the summer is so important. The reviews online for this stuff is wild. People are like, my skin is transformed. This is a miracle product, on and on and on. So I was super into it. Um, I really did see great results after the 14 days. So the main key with this product is to let it sit on your skin for five minutes before you put anything else on. So I'm going to let it sit right now for five minutes and I'll catch you in a second. So it doesn't have fragrances or preservatives or dyes or parabens or sulfates or anything like that, which a lot of the products that do this do because they give you like a temporary payoff of relieving the redness, but at the expense of your skin in the long term. So this is more of a long form strategy, but I have been using this to maintain my skin and to really reduce the redness. And like I said, I find that I wake up and my skin looks just much more even. All right, so it's been a few minutes and I've just let it soak in. And as you can see, my skin has kind of toned down and calmed down. And my skin tone is as even for me as it usually gets. Um, I do have some good days, but it's doing okay. So for me, my makeup routine changes every now and again. Um, but for me in the summer, I like to keep it really like light and liquidy over powdery because I find that like my sweat like tries to pop through the powder. And for me, what makes me feel pretty is just brushed up brows, like glowing skin and that's about it. It just makes me feel like natural and pretty. So that's what we are doing today. So I focus on just evening out skin tone, making everything look like perfect and just shiny and dewy like I don't have makeup on at all. That's our goal today. So the first thing I'm going to do is to neutralize my redness and imperfections. So I have redness here. I get asked a lot, do I have permanent lip liner? I don't. I just have melasma from sun damage. So I'm just gonna show that to you. It looks like lip liner on my lip and it's just all along the top. I have a little on the bottom too. It's essentially like I have brown lip liner on all the time, which that's the price you pay when you are in the sun too much and not diligent about wearing sunscreen. So let this be a warning to us all, okay? Anyway, so yeah, I get asked a lot about um, my lips in general. Like a lot of people will say rude things like, what did you do to your lips? And I think that people think that I have like permanent lip liner or like excessive filler and I actually have neither. So in fact, it's funny. I feel like when I have like a resting face, it just, I'll show you the difference between when I put on my photo face and when I just am like resting and it's actually wild. So maybe I need to work on my faces. Here's normal lip. And then when I do photos, they come out just a little. I find I have like a habit of like kind of pouting them a little when I do photos. Anyway, that's another, another topic for another day. I did recently go to the med spa with my mom, um, when she was here. And so I am going to share that whole journey with you guys. That was interesting. Um, but I did not get my lips done. So sorry. A few other things I contend with are, um, scarring from acne, which I get like, I'm still always, I feel like I'm constantly like, I've got a good, a guy here. I've got one under here. I feel like I'm constantly battling with like hormonal acne, especially when I eat dairy. So we have to deal with covering up some acne scarring, redness, and then that melasma is kind of like what I work on perfecting. So I'm just gonna go in with this Dr. Jart Sikapair, which I actually made a TikTok about that people really, really love. This, this thing has been all over the internet and I know you've probably heard of it, but it's great for neutralizing redness. So I've got two products I like for this. We'll use them both today. Sometimes I'll just go in with this. Sometimes I'll just go in with the other, but I let it warm up in my hand a little and then I just press it into my skin. And as you can see, it just kind of evens out that and neutralizes that a little bit. We're just gonna go in with a little bit of the stick of pear. Really love what that does to kind of neutralize the base. And another one I love is It Cosmetics Bye Bye Redness. This is a neutralizing correcting cream and I'm using it in the shade Transforming Neutral Beige. And this just, I use this actually as my concealer as well. They do have a product Bye Bye Under Eye. Um, I usually don't struggle with like a lot of under eye darkness except for recently. Right now I've been really tired and so I do feel like I have some, but generally it's not something I struggle with a ton. So I, I kind of use this as a multitasker. I use it as both. So I'm just gonna put a little bit here to kind of neutralize any like red spots, but I'm gonna focus this on correcting acne scarring, a little bit around the melasma. And again, I'm just using like just the tiniest bit and I'm just kind of pressing it into my skin. And since I am having a little bit of under eye darkness, I'm actually gonna put this on my entire eyelid as kind of like a neutral base. I'm all about like multitasking and keeping things really, really simple. So this is also great. Like if you're traveling, it's like, okay, you don't have to bring a million products with you. Like I do not pretend to be like a YouTube beauty guru. If you want like a full beat with all that stuff, I'm not your girl, but if you just wanna look like, you know, natural and glowy and your best, your best skin self, I like like to keep it really simple and just use one product for multiple things even if I can. So as you can see, my face looks just 
a lot more even now and it was so simple I just pressed a few products in my face uh, I am gonna go in with a foundation I just go really really light on it you could use a tinted moisturizer if you have a little bit less imperfections than I do I love the it cosmetics your skin but better foundation with skincare this is a water light so it's a medium coverage and it has a radiant finish which I think is really important if you're trying to go for that glowy no makeup look I love to mix this with Dior Universal uh, backstage so this is like a face and body glow by Dior you could also if you wanted to cut it mix it with like a tinted moisturizer or luminous moisturizer uh, Laura Mercier makes a great like luminous tinted moisturizer you could cut it with that I'm just using so little just like literally like a pump of each so I'm barely using any and I'm gonna go in with my it cosmetics uh, skin smoothing complexion brush it's the number is 704 if you're interested and this is just a compact kind of angled brush and I'm just gonna mix these two on my hand and just really lightly dapple them on the skin I'm gonna go over my eye with it and kind of reinforce that under eye coverage we did into the hairline just lightly like I barely have any product left on my brush so I kind of just am blending that up this is very 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 light coverage but you get a lot of mileage with it because as you can see my skin tone is almost completely even now which I love I'm now gonna go in with my sponge sorry there was a fly and it scared me Last summer, I switched from Beauty Blender to the Super Sponge. So this is a new Super Sponge, just so you can see, because this one is kind of beat. So I wanted you to be able to see like what they actually look like. Um, it has like a silicone outside and then the sponge inside. So you don't, it doesn't absorb the product, this part up. So I actually just use this and I just kind of reinforce it and press the product into my skin and kind of like roll it just to kind of give it that finish it's optional if you're happy with the brush coverage you're fine but I just do a quick once over of this so everything's really pressed into my face and it and it really like mimics the skin this is the part where you would go in with a concealer if there were any specific areas that you wanted to cover um, I feel like I'm happy enough with the coverage I almost like to let a little bit of skin and imperfection show through I just think it looks more natural but uh, this is the point where you would do that I actually don't set my summer face uh, I don't like the powder finish like I said so I try to let things kind of sit and soak into my skin um, but the next step for me is adding blush I like to keep my full face liquid when I'm going for this super simple look so for me with redness I think a lot of people think that they don't want to put blush on or they don't need blush because they already have that pink undertone but for me I think it's super important to like redirect the redness and I love that like flushed bright flushed like healthy looking skin so I love to re-add a blush and re-add the redness I actually just got this pixie on the glow blush tinted moisture stick set so I thought I would try this today I've been using um, cloud paint by Glossier for like a couple years I'm almost out of it and you know I just want to try something new um, I know that the there's been a little controversy surrounding the brand so I just thought you know they sent this to me pixie sent this to me and I thought I'd give this a try today with you um, I've also liked milk makeup has like an oil cheek and lip tint that I like um, but I'm all down with like the oil the cream like blushes like that so if you know any good ones, comment below and let me know. But today, like I said, we're keeping the whole look liquid. So they sent me Juicy Fleur and Ruby. So it's a tinted moisture stick and it gives a flush of color. Here they are. Do you wanna see what they look like? I think today we are gonna use, we're gonna go with Fleur, cause this is the vibe. And I feel like it's the closest to my natural flush. Uh, okay, so here it is. Pixie on the Glow Blush Tinted Moisture Stick. Hydrating solid cheek tint for cheeks and lips. So cute, I'm excited about this. I love the packaging. But anyway, oh fun! Oh, it's fun. It like twists really nicely and just comes up. So we're gonna try it. I'm gonna try it on my hand first because I'm just curious about the texture. Oh, it's super hydrating. Oh, do you see that sheen? I really like this. I'm excited about it. Oh yeah, this is gonna be so good. Oh my gosh, I'm stoked. Um, okay, so I think I'm going to put it on my hand first because I don't want to like wipe away the makeup I just don't know how it's gonna apply so I'm gonna just put it on my hand first and then I'm gonna um, Place it on my cheeks carefully with my fingers. So I put just a kind of a generous amount here. I've been really loving pixie lately Okay, so I have some here And then I just like to like really gently like dab it on the like uh, on the like juiciest part of my cheek and I like to kind of do it in like an upward motion. Gosh, I think it's so cute. I really like it. You can see the difference here. Like just that bit of blush just like lifts the cheek and it just gives you that like a natural flush. I really like it. So just to see the difference, like this is why we do it because it just looks so much more, I feel like it puts some color back in your face and it really just like lifts the whole cheek and face. And then what I love to do, which I think people don't normally think of doing is I actually like to bring this through, through up, 
to my nose a little bit and it just really gives like a youthful fun kind of flush i've noticed like madison beer like totally does this with her makeup um and i've so i've seen a couple tutorials where they did this and i started doing it myself and i'm like i really like that look so it might look like a bit much right now but i think it's gonna end up being really really nice okay so by redirecting where the flush goes it distracts from all of the other stuff going on in my opinion like this is my little magic trick i used to avoid blush and think like oh i already have rosy cheeks i shouldn't do it absolutely not like you can choose where you want the flush to go and i think it just gives like such a like a lifted juicy look i just think and the texture of this can you see i love that the lights come in in here because you can see it looks just like skin texture so this is so great it looks like you don't even have makeup on you just look like oh i'm obsessed i really really like this i'm actually gonna try it on my lips um we'll do that next so after this point is where i kind of go in and do my brows i have gotten super into laminating my own brows over the past year so if you want a video about my at home brow routine let me know i've been doing an at home lamination that i just got on amazon pretty regularly like i do it every probably every like six weeks or so so this is on the tail end there's not as much um i don't like it to look like so wild but i love that when i choose to brush my brows up they stay so this is my brows don't normally do that they're more of like a this kind of a vibe so i notice that when i laminate it just gives me the option of being able to brush them up so when i do my brows i also keep it really simple i just brush them up and then i kind of just follow the guideline of filling in wherever there are holes just to make sure they look nice and thick and i just do really natural strokes so i am using precisely my brow by benefit there's also a charlotte tilbury brow i like and i've been playing with a few so if you want a specific brow video i can talk about my laminating routine and my secrets to filling them in um i can do a separate video on that but for now i'll just show you a quick version of how i fill in my brows every day so i just go in and wherever there are like holes or like it's not quite as thick i just go in and i just do like a little hair like stroke as you can see you see that just kind of like continues the brow moment there and then here i feel like if there's not quite as much sometimes i'll give that a little more structure under there since the goal of this makeup is to be like huh wait does she have makeup on i like to keep it really natural so i love to see skin through the brows i don't like to like fully fill them in i like to like leave a little skin showing through i just think it looks just even more natural and now i'm gonna go in with brow fix this is a clear brow gel by charlotte tilbury i love this there's been a ton of like new brow products at the market i know there's one that like freezes your brows up and then there's refi can you guys let me know which brow products you've tried and which ones you want to try and we can totally do like a brow off and just like pick the best products and try them i would be happy to do that because there's so many things i've been wanting to try even like revita brow like for growing the brows like i'm down for whatever so there's anything you want me to be your little tester on i would be happy to do that um but for now anyway i'm just using this uh charlotte tilbury brow fit clear brow gel and i'm just using this to help get my little sprouts up in front i love these i'm so like proud of them i always had like really thin like very like precise eyebrows and this like wild kind of like furry brow moment is giving me life i feel so pretty i love it <laughs> not for everyone but i love it so our brows are done that really frames the face and makes a whole moment. I also have this um, NYX uh, NYX. I don't know if you say NYX or NYX. Um, it's a little brow pen. It's a little tint pen that just, I can't open it because my hands are all slippery. It makes like little stroke. Anyway, so we could do a whole brow video. Anyway, I'm not going to get into it. But I, the only reason I'm showing you this is because depending on like what I have going on, I will sometimes add like a tiny, tiny little bit of liner to the corner. Um, I'm more a fan of like a powder line. So my two options for that are I will either go in with uh, just a brown. I just have this Smashbox palette and it's literally just this plain matte brown uh, with a really angled brush. And I'll just do like a really simple powder line or I'll go in and just do the tiniest, tiniest bit of a, I wouldn't even call it a cat eye with this, just to define the shape of the eye where the lashes. And I just especially do this if I am gonna film or something because it just, you know so your eyes i guess like stand out um but other than that i don't do eye makeup really too much anymore so we're just gonna go in literally i'm just gonna pick up right from the corner and do the finest little stroke it just should look like a continuation of your lashes all right there we go so it's literally i don't even put it up on the like lash line at all it's just the tiniest so that when i put my mascara on it just looks like a continuation of lashes and that's like literally it um i'm gonna put some mascara on and highlighter 
but that's all we do for the eyes right now again I have like a flirty little like super natural look as well that I do for date nights um, so if you want me to show you my date night makeup I will show you that just comment below and let me know and I will do a get ready with me the next time I go on a date all right so I'm gonna put on mascara now I love this lashy doll by Lancome it's so good. I got sent it in a PR box like a while ago and I've been using it for months. I know you're supposed to throw it away, but I probably need more, but I'm, I'm obsessed with this mascara. It really is, in my opinion, so good. It has this like curved little lash and they're like very, very fine little spikes. They're like little rubber spikes. So I'm just gonna do a quick coat of this mascara. I love that my, my lashes just look like long and wispy and natural when I use this. So like look at the difference from that eye to that eye, just how much more awake and open. It's just awesome. I think it's wild what like just mascara and the tiniest liner in the corner can do to just make your whole eye just look like more brighter and awake. It's just subtle, but it makes all the difference. That's it for the eye look. I'm just gonna add a little bit of highlighter. Um, I'm gonna go back in with this same Dior Backstage in the Universal, um, and I am obsessed with the Future Dew Serum by Glossy. So if you have any dupes, let me know. I know that Glam Glow has one, um, and I heard that Glow Recipe has one as well. So I might actually check that out and try that. Um, but basically it's just like a, a serum, an oil serum hybrid. And they're meant to usually be worn like under makeup or as moisturizers. But my little hack is that this makes such an incredible highlighter. So I'm gonna go in and just like add some specific highlight with this Dior Glow. And I'm just gonna do like a few, you know, dots on the high part of my cheek. Just make sure to blend that out so you don't see any like sparkle. And then I put just like a little dot on my nose, maybe on my cupid's bow. I might kind of like dabble it just a couple little on the high points of my brow bone. Just keep it really natural. And then I'll go in with the serum and then I literally just take it here on my hands and really just like rub it completely into my hands and then just kind of press all over my face with it. And that's really the end. It just like gives that final look of like, this is just skin, this isn't makeup. And that's my secret. I'm obsessed with finishing this way because it just, I don't know. And, and as the day wears on, like if you've got really oily skin, you can totally set it or do whatever you need to do. But if you've got similar skin to mine, it's like combination to dry. I find that this truly does last all day. And as my own skin shows through, I don't mind it that much. I'm just all about that really natural look these days. I feel like less is more. So that's really it. I just put this in and then um, normally I would do a very like a nude lip liner that matches my lips exactly because I like to look like I don't have any lip on. Um, but I'm actually really happy with the coverage we got today of my melasma. So I'm actually gonna try this pixie little stick that we had, the pixie stick, remember those? And I'm just gonna go in and add a little lip color and see how we like it. Cause it says it's also a lip tint. I think it's cute. It's just natural and cute. I like it. Super natural, super cute. It's awesome. So that's it. We are done. I like to set my makeup with, um, I love this Pixi Glow Mist. It has argan oil in it. And so I'll just kind of go through and set it with this. I got this um, at the Revolve Beauty event. So this was gifted to me there. I can put a link for everything I use below. And if you are going out to have Fun in the sun make sure you use sunscreen I have to tell you that because of all the issues I'm dealing with um, but this Kate Somerville um, uncomplicated SPF it's a soft focus makeup setting spray so it sets your makeup and it gives that like blur effect and it also has an SPF 50 built into it so I'm gonna shake it up and I'm gonna finish with this to be safe it's got also like a really nice spray nozzle and it's great because you can reapply this on top of your makeup I know a lot of like you know, like the foundation and stuff I use has SPF in it, but you need to reapply throughout the day. So there is an also a really, really awesome powder SPF, but if you're doing an all liquid face, that's just not gonna work. So this is such a great solution because it's an SPF 50 and you could reapply it throughout the day and it includes that like soft focus. So here we go. This is my everyday natural glowing, no makeup makeup look. What do we think? Uh, this is what I have on in most videos I do with you guys. And um, when I'm just like running out and about, it's my easy thing. I'm actually gonna take you out with me in the direct sun because I want you to see like how good this looks like in the natural light because I think that that's the key is that when you're out and about and doing activities in the sun like I just you don't want to see your makeup like caked on you don't want to see like powders and liquids fighting each other so I'm gonna take you outside it is so bright out here <laughs> I'm just really showing you all my imperfections so I have like a ton of like baby hairs I would normally like dermaplane myself um, every so often I'm actually 
getting ready to do it like tomorrow no because they can't put makeup on the same day because you can break out so i'll probably do it um friday so i'll have like a full 24 hours before my date on saturday but anyway whatever so i will just show you this is how it looks in the sun i just think that it looks like your skin but better which is why i stick with this all like liquid slash oil base makeup i just think it like highlights all the good things um i think it's so nice i know that i talked a lot today so i think the whole thing takes like five minutes um when you do it so it's just a great solution i'd love to know your thoughts i know it seems really simple but i used to watch like all these makeup videos and they seemed like so many steps and so hard you just find your own technique glad skin did ask to be included in this video and they did send me this product and i have been working with them that being said all opinions are my own i just like to give that full disclosure but i do love and totally stand this product i think it's amazing so um yeah Every, uh, some There was a mix of products that were PR and many I bought on my own. I will link all of those below and I will just give you like one more little sneak peek of this. Let me know what else you want to see. Do you want to see like, so my date night version of this is just like a little elevated to the next level. I've got a few other options that I love to like bust out for date night. So again, let me know if you want me to do get ready with me. I've got a date tomorrow and I have a date on Saturday. Things are wild. Oh my gosh. I can't even believe I'm out there and dating again. That's a whole nother video for another day. Um, but I'm so glad you guys are here. Thanks for watching. And if you're a returning BFF, thank you for being here. Thanks for letting me know what you want to see. Please continue to do that. Comment below. Uh, let me know your favorite products. What else you want me to try? What you want to see from me and just say hi and head over to my DMS over on Instagram to say hi as well. Cause I love getting to chat with you there and, um, head over to my TikTok for short form fashion video. Thanks for being here. And if you are new, I hope you liked this video. I'd love to get to know you. Thanks so much for watching. Hit that little bell. So you never miss a video and hit subscribe if you like this video. Thank you. I'll see you guys next time.